in the room. So you have to use your imagination a little bit. These formations are a lot like the clouds, whereas as you're looking at them, one person can look up and say, oh, look, it looks like an elephant. Oh, no, no, that looks like a giraffe. Third person come along, no, it looks like Cousin Eddie. You know, whatever the situation is, you've got to use your imagination and kind of, be, kind of uh, be able to view what, think about what they were seeing when they named all these rooms. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned we were covered by seawater at one point, but as the water receded, it actually eroded this limestone, creating these caverns. And now, in the reverse method, water's now dripping back through the limestone, <laughs> leaving minerals behind, creating these formations. So water is the architect of these caves, both for creating the cavern, as well as giving back to it now in the form of formations. So it's a really unique setting. All right, we're going to make our way into the wedding room. This is one of the lowest, narrowest passages of the cavern tour. So we get through this, we'll be good the rest of the way to go, I'm sure. So let's make our way into the, into the wedding room, and please watch your head, watch your step. Watch Remember your step. the no touch rule. No touch rule. Don't touch. Go in front of me. Actually, go behind. Stay behind. You have to duck down. Go slow, because it's wet. Can Cool. Wow. <laughs> Go slow. Go slow. Wow. Oh. Go slow. It's wet, Randy. It's really slippery. It's very slippery. Look at the shape that it makes. Look at the little shape that it makes. Oh my gosh. Cool. Wow. Don't touch it. Whatever you do, just look. Wow. Mommy, look at that. Very pretty room, isn't it? Oh, 